On November 19, 2021, people from different countries will see a partial lunar eclipse. The moon will turn red, and only this small part of our satellite will still be illuminated by the sun. That's why it's called partial. In this video, you will find out if this eclipse is visible in your country, how and when to observe it, and why such an event will not happen again until the year 2669. Carry on watching this video, because it will be very interesting. Let me get straight to the point. If you are from these parts of the world, including the Americas, East Asia, Australia, Africa, and partially Europe, then my congratulations, you will be able to see the eclipse. Generally speaking, there will be two phases of this event, a penumbral and a partial eclipse. During the penumbral eclipse, the moon is covered by the outer part of Earth's shadow called the penumbra, which is way fainter than its core. Thus, the moon still looks pretty bright in the sky, and a penumbral eclipse is often difficult to tell apart from a normal full moon. But one hour later begins the second phase of the eclipse, called a partial eclipse. That's when the moon is slowly turning red and going into the core of Earth's shadow more and more. And yes, just a quick reminder, lunar eclipses happen when the moon, Earth and the sun are perfectly aligned so that the sunlight is blocked by our planet and can get to the moon. Additionally, during lunar eclipses, the moon turns red thanks to the sunlight that gets through our planet's atmosphere. This sunlight is composed of different colors that are called the light spectrum. Basically, our planet's atmosphere takes this spectrum and says, hey, all colors from green to violet, you suck and you can't pass through me. And you, from yellow to red, you are nice, I love you, you can go to the moon. The blood moon is visible when a significant part of the lunar surface is covered by Earth's shadow, so this November it will turn a vivid red color as well. The penumbral eclipse begins at 1.02 am Eastern Standard Time, and the partial eclipse begins at 2.18 am Eastern Standard Time on November 19th. Thus, people in the Americas will behold this event at night, Europeans and Africans in the early morning, and people in East Asia and Australia in the evening. If you want to know the precise time, I highly recommend visiting the website called timeanddate.com. You just need to go to the section Sun and Moon, then Eclipses, click on the next lunar eclipse, and you will see right there a very convenient map. You can even see the forecast for November 19th. New Yorkers, I have bad news for you. Unfortunately, people from other regions aren't lucky enough to witness the event. But in May 2022, another lunar eclipse, this time a total one, will be visible throughout all countries of Europe, Africa and the Middle East. Just wait 184 days more and the moon will turn red again. Let's get back to November 19, 2021, and here's another question. Do you need any equipment to see this eclipse? No, just use your eyes. The penumbral eclipse could be hard to notice, but you will definitely see the partial eclipse and the reddishness of the moon. Is it safe to watch the lunar eclipse? Yes, and even if you want to see it through a telescope, you don't have to use a lunar filter. And here comes the most interesting part. In total, this eclipse will last 6 hours and 2 minutes. As it's written on Wikipedia, it will be the longest partial lunar eclipse since the year 1440 and the longest until 2669. For example, the total eclipse that will occur in May 2022 will last just 5 hours and 19 minutes. Such long duration of the eclipse will happen because the moon will be located 401,000 kilometers from Earth, almost at the farthest point of its orbit. At this distance, the speed of the moon will be lower than usual, and it will take the natural satellite more time to pass through our planet's shadow. However, this longest partial lunar eclipse, in my opinion, is not such a big deal. Many other total lunar eclipses last 5 or 6 hours, and in most calendar years there are two lunar eclipses that are visible all over the world. Don't feel frustrated if you miss the partial lunar eclipse this month. In the next 5 years, 
you will enjoy 11 lunar and 11 solar eclipses. And finally, astrology sucks. This eclipse will not affect your relationships, financial stability or health. Come on, just go and do something with your life without these eclipses. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos. Bye.